So uh, we're going to do, in this repair, we're going to do a drivetrain repair on a XC800. Um, this drivetrain can be, repair can be used for any uh, really older sled. The new ones, they have a different drive s system on like some of the new players. Is they have a belt gearbox. They don't actually have gears anymore. So I've already started it under it. I actually just recently redid the power valves on this sled. Um, so what you do is you take this case cover off. There will be a few bolts. I think there's four bolts. One, two, three, four down there. There are five bolts. They're like eight mil, 10 mil heads. Take those off, get them, uh, take the gears and everything. There'll be a, a bolt on the bottom gear. Hold the brake on the sled or get someone to hold the brake, put your parking brake on and just put a 13 mil socket on that and loosen that off. Up top here again, hold the brake. There'll be a cotter pin, take the cotter pin out. And then it's a big girl, I think it's like a 24. And then put a 24 mil socket on that or maybe even bigger, I think it might be a one inch actually. I think it's a one inch. And then uh, again, put the brake, twist that nut off. And uh, there'll be a washer on top here where the nut, uh, behind the nut, take that off with it. There'll be a gear, slip the gear and chain off. And then behind the gear here, there'll be a little spacer. So once you have that all off, I'll show you, I'll take it over here. Right here, here's the case. Here's, there's the case right there. Here's the bottom gear. Here's the top gear, the chain. Tensioner sits in like that, sit in the case too, you can just pull that off. And on the back of this gear, there'll be a little spacer. See it, I don't know if you guys can see it down through that gear. I just have it behind it sitting there just so I can remember. Goes behind there. Now again, once you get the case off, the cover off, take all those gears out and everything. And then you're gonna go over to the other side, take the secondary off like I've done. And then down here, it's kind of dark, I don't know if you guys can see, there'll be three bolt holes, and that's your speedo bearing. That sits on the on your uh, drive shaft. On the left side, there's a grease nipple, you grease it. I don't know if people, you, most people know this, but there's two bearings. The other side, the case bearings are oiled. These two need to be greased, so when you buy a slider, if you're buying one, make sure you grease behind the secondary clutch and you grease down low, because when I go under the sled, to get the skid frame out, there's two bolts. One bolt here, one bolt there. Each side, drop that out. You'll be able to hoist your sled up, pull the skid frame right out of the way. And then here, you'll see, that's where the shaft sits, your drive shaft sits along there. And the drive shaft comes through there and that's where the bottom speedo bearing is. And you take that out, you take, basically take those bolts off there, take that top bottom gear bolt out, and then with that, you'll be able to slide the shaft over and be able to put, drop it down and pull it out of the way and then get your track and everything out. And then your speedo case will be off. You'll have your drive shaft out. And then you'll be able to be where I am and take these bolts off the actual case. Now there's one on the left, one down here, and then another one down where I have a socket and a wrench on right now and I'm gonna take that off. And then again, on top here on your rotor, see how that's loose? You wanna disconnect that. There's a 14 mil bolt there, 14 mil bolt there. Disconnect those, lift this up out of the way so when I go to pull the case off, this won't come with it because that's sitting on your brake rotor on the other side there. And this will just pop out. Once I get all these bolts out, I'll be able to slide this case right out. So I'm gonna get the bolts out, get everything ready, and then I'll take a video of me pulling the case off. And, uh, going to go through changing these bearings right here and go through that procedure on the case and do a drive shaft or a gear case change for a snowmobile and then uh, again we're, we actually got a new drive shaft for the sled we're going to put it in and install the track after and I'll show you guys how to do all that all right this is just a starter so when I get this bolts off I'll, uh, I'll get it back on and then I'll film taking the case